Anna Maria Oh Maria Ye gogonoza Maria Maria Rosa Hi bo Oh yeah Oh na 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 Oh yeah yeah eh Ye gogonoza Maria I'm hanging out with the very talented Eddie Kenzo. What's up? I'm easy, my sister. You're good? I'm very good. The hashtag is one on one. We are hanging out with Eddie Kenzo from Uganda. Your ladies bow. They say, Oriota Sebo. Hey, Oriota Sebo. Okay, please. Join me in my living room. Thank you so much. Welcome to Kenya, Eddie Kenzo. Thank you, my sister. So, Eddie Kenzo is a multi-award winning international celebrity from Uganda. He is the first in East Africa to clinch a BET award, that's Black Entertainment TV Award. He clinched the award last year in LA. And tonight in studio, very proud to be hosting him. The hashtag is one on one. You know him back here for his hit song, Sit Here Lost. That's the biggest song in Nairobi. And of course, uh, Maria Rosa as well. And of course, big up to DJ Crossfade, our resident DJ on one on one every Friday right here on Citizen Weekend. And of course, Tonight, we are proud to also be hosting DJ Miracle, that is Eddie Kenzo's official DJ from Uganda. You are welcome to Nairobi. Thank you very much for being with us once again. Let's talk about BET, Eddie Kenzo. Um, did this come as a surprise to you? The BET Awards, you were nominated, you clinched the award. Tell us about that moment for you. Man, it was great. I know, you know, it was um, a surprise. But at the end of the day, I worked for it, uh -huh. you know. Um, from day one, going to studio, working on City Alos, I yeah. knew what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And I remember going to studio and I uh, was talking to the producer. I told him that, you know what, we, we, we've done a lot for, for our country. Everybody knows me. People love me so much. They've attended for my shows. I've done a lot, but we need to do something amazing. You know, we need to go global. Yeah, let's cross the boundary. Yeah. And he was like, okay, that's a good idea. I think this is the time. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, let's do it. And then in, in between there, when we were working on the project, he, uh, so I began like singing. He was like, but you know why? You should use English. Uh -huh. Because this is an international song we are working on. I was like, you my brother. This is us. We have to remain us. We yeah. have to be ourselves. Yeah. This is how people are going to appreciate us. Mm -hmm. But if we're trying to be somebody else, nobody's going to understand what we are doing. Yeah. So let's sing our Uganda mm -hmm. because that is us and that is the language I know most, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so, so sit your loss. Do you mm -hmm. think that this is the song that actually helped you win that award? 
or is it just a collection of all the other songs that yeah, you Yeah, it was a song? collection. Mm -hmm. It was a collection, but I think Stellos played a very big role. So this is the BET Awards. These guys, like you said, don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, because you are speaking in local dialect. So mm -hmm. they don't quite know what you're saying. So what mm -hmm. is it that you think endeared um, your sound to them? What do you think made them really feel like Eddie Kenzo deserved this new international act award? Mm -hmm. uh, may I speak a musical language? You know, music is a is a universal language and me I speak a musical language mm -hmm. my music when you hear my music you can relate it to uh, even if you don't understand what I'm saying you can feel it and you can like the vibe you know yeah. because when I'm doing it in studio I think about the international audience mm -hmm. though I sing in my language but I think about them okay. so I have to make sure that I put con uh, components in the song that can really combine all of us and they understand what I'm saying what else? because when you look at city laws mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the video hear the beat, the first expressions in the video, how people are paid they are. You, you, you know the meaning, that is the meaning of the song. The song means just, let me enjoy myself, man. So such a loss means what? Uh, such a loss is a slang. It's like, uh, I don't fear loss. You don't we, fear loss? Yeah, we use in, in Uganda, in my ghetto, uh, with my friends, where I, we used to, to, to use it. Such a loss, you know, now we now we now you are. You drink, drink, I don't fear loss. <laughs> You know, it's like you go into a place and you be like, yo, man, let's have fun no matter what. Okay. But uh, it is just a slang. But the old song, it has a meaning. That okay, do you want to remind our viewers very, very briefly how City of Lost goes? Just a little bit of it. Just sing it for us. Just a, a small... A bit of the song? Yeah. City of Lost. Yeah. City of Lost goes like this. Lekanzine, nenzina mu mama. Mula mu wajisera, ato muziki zuli sana Le kanzine mama, nenzina mu oh oh Mula mu wajisera, ato muziki zuli sana He is a sicha losi Okay, so now I know what sicha loss means um, Let's talk about PDD. At the time when you when you went for the BET Awards in Los Angeles, mm. um, you met Puff Daddy, yeah. um, and rumor has it that um, he wanted to sign you up for a record label. Mm. Is that true? What 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 what's the relationship between N and PDD, and what were you guys mm. discussing? I think PDD uh, became an issue because he was the first person to share the video of kids dancing. Mm. He was the first. On, on Instagram on, or on, on the social media okay. among the biggest celebrities in the US yeah. was the first to share the video but this video has been shared so many 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 big people including Ronaldinho you know mm. you know Ronaldinho speak uh, Portuguese but he, he shared the song he yeah. shared the uh, Jambali in fact it wasn't even City Alos but um, I've met a couple of them but the person who wanted to sign me was Econ Acorn and a convict. How did that go? Not, not, not yeah, um, they, they gave me the contract, but uh, I realized one thing that uh, I've already made it to, to the level where I, it is only myself that I'm going to keep the pace mm -hmm. or put myself down because um, right now everybody knows me. I have a big following on social media mm -hmm. and I have a very big following subscription on, uh, so on uh, my YouTube channel. Yeah, it is me to work hard and make myself there. Because okay. right now I don't think the record label can help me. Instead of me, I'm the one to do a record label and I hope another other upcoming artists that people don't know. Yeah. You know, most of the times the record label is good when nobody knows you. Mm. This record label is going to push you to the audience. You know, do you music videos, do what and the, you know. But me, I'm already there. It's You're already me, there. Yeah. And so you decided mm. Just to say to no the to Akon, to say no to PDD. Mm. So you came back to Uganda and, and these guys really gave you a presidential welcome mm. after the BET award but mm. let's talk about your musical journey how many years did you did it take before Uganda actually recognized Eddie Kenzo not only just Uganda but mm. East Africa mm. um, before Eddie Kenzo actually became a household name how many years did it take like uh, what's your journey been like musically um, I got a first breakthrough I've got three breakthroughs uh -huh. you can't believe in my career the first one was 2009 with uh, Mikwan in Yannim, but that's how the Ugandan people started knowing me. And then uh, I got another breakthrough, uh, Sichalos, um, Stamina, in 2010. Yeah. And that was oh, a very... Stamina is big as well. Stamina was a very big song for consecutive two years oh. in Uganda. Oh. And in 2011, it, it was among the songs that worked so much in the campaign. Yeah. And... Um, 
I got another breakthrough in 2014 with the Sichalos mm. International. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk about growing up, Eddie Kenzo. Um, you talked about the ghetto uh, when, when you were just telling me what Sichalos means. Do you have a background from the ghetto? What's your story? Mm, that is my real story. When you look at these kids dancing on the road, uh, that is that is what I used to do. That's how I used to dress like, you know. Because me, I was a street kid, and uh, I remember myself with my colleagues on the street. We used to to dance on promotions, you know. We used to to be ourselves. We were the bosses of ourselves. I was the mother, father, grand of myself, you know. I was the boss of my own life. So during that period, so whenever I look at those kids, you know, it puts me back to those kids and. I remember myself during those times. How many years? How many years did you grow up on the street, and how did you find yourself? Almost like on the thirteen, twelve on street. How did you find yourself? There? Man, it was very hard for me, but I don't regret, you know, mm. because that was my university. You know, I've never went to school, but you see, I can speak with you right now. <laughs> I can speak even English, but I've never been to school. I only yeah. went in one class in primary. That is P3. Mm -hmm. Somebody got me from the street. And he took me to Mbarala, you know, he was a guy working for you by then in Masaka, well, in my hometown in Masaka. And he was like, yo, why don't you go to school? I was like, yo, my parents, I don't have parents. And he was like, okay, let's go. He took me to his place. I, I, he was like, did you go to school before? I was like, yes, but I never went there. I was like, which class? P3. He took me, I did an interview. I failed, but he was a big man and they let me in. So I started P3. So I was proceeding to P4. He got problems in court. So it was like, yo man, I can't afford anymore. Uh -huh. I went back on street. And then by then, I joined uh, Masakelo C uh, Football Club. Football? So, yeah, so one of the football. Are you, a good fo are you a good soccer player? Very good. What position do you play? I play 10, 8, 11, all those. Okay. And um, one of the players took me to, to Kampala. He was like, you boy, you're very clever. I don't know what you're doing in the village. Let me take you to Kampala. Maybe you can start from there. It's called Simon Kwiki. He took me to Kampala. That's where I started my journey in Nachivo Stadium, you know. Oh. I used to hustle from the Nachivo Stadium for so many years. I joined the SC Vida under 14, under 13, 14. I played. So by 15, they took me to Ruby DSS. I lied to them that I did P7, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, so from P3, I went straight to Senior 1. I started from Senior 1 or Senior 3. Senior two, so senior, three. senior one, that is secondary school now. Yeah, that secondary is high school. school, that's the high school okay, I'm talking because, about. Yeah. <laughs> in yeah, but I was, language. A, I was a very good footballer mm. and they let me in. Though so you were a good I was, footballer? Yeah, I was doing very bad in class because I didn't know anything. Yeah. You know? But they, they let me in and I explained it to the headmaster about my problems. It was like, good enough you want to study, stay in school, play soccer. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I'm unfortunately... Curious. I'm curious about your upbringing. Did you ever know your mom? Did you ever know your dad? Yeah, I knew my mother and my father, but my mother died when I was very young. Mm -hmm. And my father was uh, a military guy, but uh, he was a um, retired one, but he didn't have money. He was just an askari. These people that open people's gates, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but um, he didn't care about us because he had nothing. Do you have siblings? A brother, a Man, sister? I have, a, I have my, my brother and my sister, mm -hmm. but I don't know anybody on my father's side. I don't know anybody on my mother's side. Because my mother came from Rwanda. My mother, she's a Rwandese. Okay. She came with her father to, to Uganda during the, I think, the war. Mm. But they didn't come with anybody. So I don't know anybody on their side. Okay. And my father went to Ame when he was very young. He was very young and he went to Ame during the, mm. I don't know. So try to explain. This, all this success. Um, who, which family celebrates this success with you? Um, who do you actually share this success with? Family-wise, your blood. Who? Yeah, my family is Uganda. <laughs> yeah. Uganda and Masaka, Kampala and Masaka. That is my family. Those two cities. Mm. That is the. Th those are the people that celebrate my success much because uh, I was brought up uh, by people in Masaka, common people, taxi drivers. Mostly, those, are, those people supported me so much. Mm. I was working for them most of the times in tax park, selling soda, what? Yeah. And then Nachivo Stadium, mostly, they, they also uh, celebrate my success because I used to stay in Nachivo Stadium. Mm. I used to work there as a um, selling water, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. So, my mother is, yeah. is, is uh, Masaka. My mother is uh, 
Masa kama ifadhi is Kampala. Those are the people that grew me up. Mm. I don't have a particular family that really brought me up, but uh, I remember the family of Kwikwi, the guy I told you about. He took me to his family and introduced me to his mom, and that became my mom. That's you know, good. that's where Thanks when I was during the time when I was going to school, that's where I came. Where I came okay. from Ego. So let's talk about the ghetto kids, the the, mm. the, the the children who dance in your videos. These little girls and boys their story and your passion for them and and why they feature in every almost every video that you've done these, these yeah. kids are there dancing mm. tell us about that uh, so these kids um, there's a guy called Kavma and he loves kids so much as a teacher so I, I you know I love kids so much and I saw him also he loves kids so much he get kids with talent and uh, started training them dancing and all that they stay in much in the, that's where our ghetto is that's where we stay we spend most of the times though i don't sleep there that's where my office is and um i started working with them long time ago mm -hmm. are like, you helping them example. are they children from the slums as well of course i've done my best because mm -hmm. everybody knows these kids and i'm the one who went that did the song took the cd to them directed the, everything you see they don't dress like that that was a script you know yeah I removed their shoes, we cut their clothes and we put them in the dust and we did what you saw to send a message there that however much Africa is, doesn't have good money but we're also happy in our own way. We're happy. And, uh, yes. that, and uh, that message really crossed so many, many, many million people. We mm -hmm. broke so many records yeah. with the most viewed in East yeah, Africa. Yeah, it has we, actually, how many YouTube hits right now? We, um, about. We, we, we have uh, two videos, one with 18 million, another one with 16 million, mm. and uh, my channel has almost 40 million for this channel. Because of the children? Yeah, so that okay. was, uh, I think I've played my part. And uh, right now I've changed their life mm. because so many people know them, so many came to visit us. We've done a lot with uh, Al Jazeera, BBC, yeah. uh, so many CCTV, you mm. know. Uh, and what about the comedy, like for instance with your song Maria Rosa, uh, when you go to YouTube by the way, Eddie Kenzo, there's these guys who have, who do comedy with your music, who are these guys, are they known, do you know them? Yeah. Okay. I know them, I know King Kong, I know uh, Shay Manala, uh, these people they do stand up comedy, but uh, I was in a comedy and I saw uh, King Kong dancing to songs into that very dress with the whip. <laughs> Yeah. And I discovered that I can make him do something amazing. Mm. And I also saw um, Shay Manala, the way he grew his legs. The How did his leg turn behind I know, like that? that was a surprise to me. And I was like, we can also do something. So I combined <laughs> two of them. Yeah. We went and we did uh, Maria Loz, and it's a very big success. It has almost 5 million views right now. Oh. And uh, one of the Facebook guy in uh, Latin America called La DJ Latin Prince. The song has almost 40 million viewers on his channel. So yeah, wow, it, yeah. amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so Maria Rosa, mm -hmm. is this somebody known to you, or is it just a name that you came up with? Mm -hmm. it's a I love song, right? Mm -hmm. I just came with a name. You know, I'm a musician, and I always there think and try because I can't start think saying so many names, female names. <laughs> you choose one and you cry that, and some yeah. people receive the message. But then I, you know, word has it that you have. A baby and mm. a baby mama. Tell us mm. about that, the relationship with mm. your baby and mm. the baby mama. Mm. You know, unfortunately, I have. I don't know whether it's bad or good, but I have two baby mamas. Though. <laughs> As <laughs> is the case with most celebrities. Yeah. The, no, no, no. You know, I got uh, Mama Maya a long time ago when we were all very young. You know, and. Um, she got pregnant and we had nothing to do because I didn't believe in abortion, you know. I was like, no, let's keep it. And it was a very big struggle for me and him and, and the parents, you know. But I managed, they felt sorry for me because I was young. <laughs> yeah. and, um, but they had to separate us because she had to go back to school. Oh. And uh, they were very good to me. They let us, her give birth and they really they were so great to us. Okay. And, uh, she went back to school, oh. she finished everything now and but they had to tell me that please separate with her so you no, do okay no. so, so you, you are there, a parent yeah so from there i moved on with my life and then through that journey that's when i met rema you okay. know and rema. They, they, they are, uh, so mama. i want to talk about your celebrity lifestyle now eddie kenzo your amazing home um and you know just the fact that it made headlines when you acquired mm. this home i mean this is straight from 
the ghetto to that amazing, beautiful <laughs> mansion there. Yeah. Tell us about that. <laughs> How much did it cost you? Where do you live? Where is that house located? Is it in a suburb? Where is that house? <laughs> that house is in Seguku. Yeah. It's one of the most nice places people know, you know. But um, I don't want to start telling people how much I bought the house because it's quite expensive. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I saved a lot, you know, too. You know, as a street man, I'm, I'm the father, I'm the everything of my family, you know. You know, my family, they're all street people. So oh. I had to do something and make them proud. So I, have, I saved a lot. I'm not rich. <laughs> not rich. Okay. But I had to save a lot and do something like and that. And buy a, that is is a by beautiful God's home. Grace, yeah. That is a beautiful home. So, yeah. you know, has this changed you, Eddie Kenzo? The fame, um, you know, just coming from so far mm. to achieving all this BET Award, mm. beautiful home. Mm. You are performing in almost everywhere across Africa, yeah, in the US, yeah. in the UK, <laughs> just across the world. I, I have, I have, have fame changed. I, I have a record that people really don't know. But I have um, something amazing in my life. You know, you, according to my story, according to where I came from, nobody, no, school, no education to speak of, uh, no parent, no any good background. But I have managed in a very short period of time to scoop, uh, I'm not going to talk about Ugandan awards, but I managed to scoop best East African artist in Kunde, Burkina Faso. When you from East Africa and you own East African, that is amazing. Mm. And I have best African artist in uh, Nigerian entertainment. The moment you have African artist, when you are an African, it is amazing. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I own BET. The, the only thing left in my career is Grammy. Otherwise, A I Grammy. should have owned everything. Yeah, <laughs> it is the on, only Grammy left. Yeah. And only. I'm sure you'll get it. Uh, so what's Allah. your favorite Kenyan song? Who, who, I mean, like, which Kenyan artist do you look at and, like, mm. actually can sing along to their song? Yeah. I appreciate so many Afri Kenyan talents, honestly speaking. Kenya got talent, trust me. And in Uganda, we love Kenyan music so much. Yeah. And so many Kenyan artists have performed in Uganda. But right now, South would so. You know, South so they are doing <laughs> well again. South so they are doing a great job for Kenya, trust me. Yeah. You know nowadays things changed. Do you know any Long of their time songs? Ago, Can you sing any of their songs? Let me tell you something. Long time ago agriculture and politics used to sell countries. Right now it is music, soccer, athletics, all that. Right now South So is doing a great job for Which of which of their songs do you like best? All of them. I know Nerea, I know um my friend, I know so many songs. <laughs> you know Nerea, like, the the okay. The and the do you, so do, are you planning to do a collab with any Kenyan artist? Is there somebody that you've been thinking of working with? Um, we can do something with South. So they are my personal friends. Okay. We meet a lot in different countries. We sleep in the same hotels. Mm. We're always there together. Yeah. But um, and me, I don't. I, I can do with any artist as long as it's good. As long as I discover something in you, even if you're just a beginner, mm. we can do something. And yeah. what about you? What is your favorite song? Kenzo's songs. Which one is your favorite? Mine is Teach uh, Love. Me, I love more all of my and songs. And Yeah, thank you. I love most of my songs, though. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you to pick one. Uh, no, I can't choose. I really love them. You know, I'm the composer of those songs. Yeah. I go to studio, do freestyle most of the times, so or do what. But, uh, some How do you describe your, your style, by the way? Is it dancehall? Is it what is your what is your genre? Kenzo style. Kenzo style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So Pato Ranking, um, you collab with Pato Ranking, uh, the Nigerian. Why Pato Ranking and not Wizkid or Davido or Don Jazzy? Mm. Why? Um, because you know, let me tell you one thing. Even in my coming to the Ugandan industry. I did with my agent, that is Miku one, but I had so many people to chase and cry for Koraba and they should have done, I think. Because mm. I, I was singing good. Uh, I decided to do with uh, Patrankin because we're from the same generation. Oh. He's a new guy, I'm a new guy. And um, I think our combination is good. Okay. And uh, another person I should have done with is uh, Wizzy, Paul Davido. Yeah. Because they're all my friends, but... Uh, where did you shoot the video? They all did some stuff with uh, my Ugandan people, but mm -hmm. I, to do something new I had to do with Pato because he's the one that has never done something with Ugandan people. Where did you shoot the video? It's quite uh, yeah. amazing. Yeah, Uganda. In Kololo. Uganda? Yeah. Kololo? Mm. Wow. Uganda yeah. is beautiful. So, um, okay, that is good to know.
um, your plans going forward in the future? What are we expecting to hear from Eddie Kenzo? Yeah, I'm trying to, to improve myself every day because I don't think I've done the best so mm -hmm. far. I've done quite good, but I think I still have a long way to go. Okay. Yeah. All right. And finally, Eddie Kenzo, what brings you to our beautiful country? I came to do a concert. Mm -hmm. I'm performing tomorrow yes. in, in a Galileo launch. Mm -hmm. Galileo launch tomorrow. And I'm so excited because it is going to be my first time in Nairobi. Yes. Oh, it's your first time in Nairobi? Yeah. Really? This, this is my second time. We're just an hour this away. Is, I, uh, I've been coming to Kenya but on airport, <laughs> in transit. You come to the airport on transit? In transit, yeah. And I, came, I also came to, um, to this city to, 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 to see Enesolik because they did my Realo's official video. Uh -huh. And we came to do some collections. But this is my first official time to come, like officially to come and do something uh -huh. for my people and uh, I'm so excited. Okay. I think it's gonna be amazing. I came with my dancers, came with my guys, they called IDU, they uh -huh. are so good. Oh, these are the ghetto kids? No, uh, it's other dancers. Yeah, no. this okay. is IDU dancers, they are really good. Okay. And uh, we hope we're going to do our best. Actually, going back to one of your dancers before we wind up, uh, for the ghetto kids, yeah. one of the children there, I think his name is Alex? Yeah. Was, yeah, he passed away. What happened? What was the situation? Um, he died of a bike accident, mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, that was so sad to us, I don't know how, even how I can explain this, but uh, it was a very bad thing just in our okay. generation because mm -hmm. uh, Alex was great, mm -hmm. Alex started his career when he was uh, like nine, you know, and uh, he was been, he's the one who did the choreography for City lost the other thing, the 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 matching ones. Yeah. So yeah. honestly speaking, I will never forget Alex in my life. Mm. Yeah. We are sorry for your loss. So as we wind up, Eddie Kenzo, um, I want to read out some of the messages that are coming in for you, and you can continue using the hashtag one on one or SMS us using double two four double two. We're hanging out with Eddie Kenzo. He's got an amazing. Story, literally from rugs to riches and he's here today telling us his life story somebody is saying Eddie Kenzo you are most welcome in Kenya we wish you the best this is Jackie somebody is saying surely let them bring out the song stamina <laughs> mm. um, okay somebody is saying Eddie Kenzo very humble guy keep it up bro your songs are amazing this is Chris Young welcome Eddie we like you we Kenyans uh, love Maria Rosa um, and somebody here saying, I like your latest song, I Am a Champion. You have a song yeah. called I Am a Champion? Yeah. Okay, it's one of your best. A lot of people actually really celebrating you, Eddie. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to, 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 to actually see your songs and, and your language resonate across Africa? We don't understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. but we dance to your music. Mm -hmm. It's but ridiculous I, I, how, how people dance to your music and yet they don't even know what you're saying. Yeah, it is a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Because when I'm in studio, I told you, I think about you guys people that doesn't understand what I'm saying. I always think about them in the studio. And that's why I put components that can combine us. Mm. And they feel the song in studio. Yeah. I do that, you know? Mm. Uh, for example, you saw um, so many videos of mine and you love them, right? Yeah. You love my melodies and you know the things. So, so that is it. So it is just a dream come true because I wanted to promote my Uganda. Yeah. And I, wa I wanted to promote the language I know most. You because wanted me, to promote Me, it? I'm just learning English though. I'm just getting to learn English. <laughs> but you speak from, English very well. Yeah, they, I just got to learn English like last year. Really? Yeah, I didn't know anything. What were you speaking? Luganda. Luganda. That is the language I know most. I can even speak some small Swahili, but Kidogo. Kidogo. You know, the language because I know, you know fluently. The language I know fluently is Luganda. So I'm so proud of that language, and I have to promote it. I have to do my best, and people need to know that it's a beautiful language. Let's talk about your style, your dressing. Uh, so this little hat, what is it called? Yeah. This little. <laughs> this one here. What do you have <laughs> under there? No, it is just my head. <laughs> Nothing else. So what's the, what's what's up with the Marvin? It's, it's part of your swag. It's I part know. of your style. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? It's nice. It's interesting. Yeah, thank you. Man. So you dress yourself. You have a yeah. fashion stylist. Do you? I because know, a lot of I, celebrities I, get help from stylists. And yeah, I have my brother Fawaz. He, uh, he's a tailor. Mm -hmm. And he can do a lot of stuff. You know, he's the one telling me that we match it like this. But uh, I know style. I, I, I dress myself. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But uh, if we want to do something special, nobody has it. I called Fawaz and he goes and do it and oh. I look different. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, final question. 
you said you talked about showcasing your culture is it intentional um the way you do your videos showing a lot of uganda mm. a lot of the rural areas mm. is that intentional yeah i'm trying to be myself mm. you know let me try and think i'm edrisa msuza born in uganda massacre i will never be anybody else your name is edrisa msuza mm. not eddie kenzo eddie kenzo is from edrisa Okay. So Edikenzo is your stage name. But yeah, your ID says Ed, Edrisa. Yeah, my passport has Edrisa, uh -huh. Musuza, Kenzo. Those are the names in my passport. Okay. When you see that passport, please bring it here. It's <laughs> mine. <laughs> okay. Well, Kenya loves you, Eddie Kenzo. I love so I rewind so up, much. you know, a message of encouragement uh, to people who have a talent mm. and maybe they feel like they're down there and they mm. don't know where to start. Yeah. You, having reached where you have reached, what would you t say to somebody out there who has a dream but doesn't even know where to start? Mm. Uh, originality. You need to be original. You have to be yourself no matter what. You know what I mean? You have to be yourself. You will never be anybody else in life. You know, there is a reason why you, you, it's you. You're not anybody else. So you have to make sure that you discover something new. And in this world, we have a lot of things around us that we can... We are here to create, not to copy from other people. So you just need to be original. You're born in Kenya. Be proud of Kenya. Be proud of your language. Please be yourself. Oh. You're going to make people love your thing. And you make so many people fly to your area to, to know how you do it. You Are know? you guys playing Nigerian music in Uganda the way we're playing it here? Yeah, we do. Okay, so Nigerian music has taken over Africa. Yeah, we do. Because a Nigerian artist, when you see, they use that pigeon kind of... Mm, so they are themselves. They try like to be... Yeah, it's, when you hear the music, you can notice that it's Nigerian. Yeah. Music. It's like Jamaican music. Jamaican music, they have that... Yanu uh, say, where say, but you know that kind of stuff. It makes to be them. Mm. That's why they're also trending. Okay. So, so while you're here in Kenya, actually... Um, and Swahili is, is a good language. Yeah. Swahili is an international... Do you know that? Beautiful. Swahili yeah. is an international yeah, language. Yeah, it's taught in Japan, yeah. China, mm. everywhere. Mm. Mm. Um, so Eddie Kenzo will be performing tomorrow at the Galileo Lounge, so you need to be there. <laughs> mm. And um, you need to find time to have our Nyamachoma, Chapati, Ugali, Spuma, yeah. Matumbo, mm. all that stuff. Yeah, I know... Um, I know I, you guys eat Rolex. Yeah, but I know, I know. What is a Rolex? A Rolex is a chapati with eggs. You know, you combine chapati, eggs, uh, tomato, put them together, and then. And your stomach is fine tomorrow morning. <laughs> Mine is very fine, you know. <laughs> well, we've been hanging out with Eddie Kenzo. But Eddie I love Kenyan food. Yeah. I've yeah. been uh, hanging with so many Kenyan people in Dallas. Yeah. You know? And uh, my my American. Um, team is Kenyan mostly. Mm. My peer and my manager in, uh, in the U.S. is a is Kenyan, Idem Jimbo uh -huh. and Meisa. Yeah, yeah wow. Kenyan. Yes. So a lot of Kenyans in Dallas, especially Kambas like me. In, in Dallas, <laughs> a so lot of mm. Kambas are in, and Dallas. I've done so many, in Dallas. And I've done so many Kenyan uh, concerts in Dallas uh, and Houston. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So what are you closing with us, uh, for with us? Um, you know, I mean, what are you closing for us with? Which song do you think do that Kenyans really want? Yeah, please. Okay. How can you not? Okay. That's what will make guys come out and see you tomorrow. No problem. So what do you feel like performing? Hey, let me do Tielo. Tielo? Yeah, so some, some many uh, people love it in Kenya. So many people love uh, mm. all your songs. Thank you so much mm. for coming to Eddie Kenzo. It's been an absolute pleasure. Mm. The hashtag is one on one. I've been hanging, hanging out with my brother. He called mm. me his sister on his yeah, sister handle. Yeah. Um, Eddie Kenzo. So thank I you like so how much. talented you are. You think I'm talented? Oh, no, man. Really? You're great. Thank Trust you. Me. That is such... I've seen so many interviewer but you're great thank you and that I is a, that go is a compliment coming may from god bless you you know god first you put god first god first yeah and then everything is going to be great so i know you're amazing yes thank, thank, yeah. you. thank you thank you thank okay. you we've been hanging out with eddie kenzo use the hashtag one on one i just got a blessing from him how lucky mm. am i how blessed am <laughs> i thanks for watching we're closing with eddie kenzo catch him tomorrow um, and of course, uh, keep City watching Los. Citizen TV. City are lost with Eddie Kenzo. Thanks for coming through. Can you dance with me, please? No, 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 no. You no, can't. No, I can't. You don't know how to dance. I don't know how to dance. You don't. Know. I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Sitaro, si, 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 si,